four years in and my M1 MacBook Pro still surprised me. Everything just works. Apps open instantly, everything feels effortless and I can't even remember the last time I heard the fan spin up. The newer M2 and M3 chip might be faster on paper but honestly, this one still keep with whatever I'm doing. Definitely one of the best tech purchases I have ever made. Battery life was one of the biggest surprises when I first got this MacBook and honestly it still is. After 4 years my battery health is still sitting around 88% and I still get about 8 up to 10 hours of real world use. If I'm doing light stuff like email, browsing, some notes and watching movie it can easily last for two or even three days what really amazed me is how consistent it is it doesn't drain fast even when i'm editing or coding only 12 percent drop in four years and that's kind of wild for a laptop Build quality still rock solid. I went with the silver color, and after all this year, the aluminium still looks premium. The hinge feel firm, and the keyboard honestly feels just like as good as day one. The Retina display hasn't aged a bit either. It's sharp, color accurate, and bright. No fading, no ghosting, nothing at all. Just the timeless Apple design that never really goes out of style. One thing I didn't expect to miss is the touch bar. When I first got this Mac, I didn't care much about it, but over time, I started using it for a quick brightness tweaks, emojis, scrabbling through video timeline, and even playback controls while editing. Apple's moved on from it now and yeah, it feels like the end of small design experiment. But honestly, I kinda miss that futuristic lead stripe. It made the M1 MacBook Pro feels different and it act like this bridge between the old and the new. MacOS has aged surprisingly well. Every update from Monterey to Sequoia has felt smooth, stable and honestly kinda effortless. What I love most is how it keeps getting more connected with the rest of my Apple devices. A drop, hand off, continuity camera, they just work every single time. It's that quite kind of Apple magic you don't really notice at the first time but once you start using it day after day, it's kinda hard to imagine not having it at all. My workflow pretty much revolves around this Mac. Editing videos, coding apps, browsing with way too many open tabs at once. The 8 GB RAM model can feel a little when I push heavy multitasking but honestly for about 90% of what I do it's been more than enough and what I love the most it stays silent no fun noise guys until I am starting to export these big premium pro projects then yeah the fun finally kicks in you can hear it but even that feels like it's just doing its job. For this Mac, I paid around 1900 Canadian dollar, including tax. And four years later, the resale value is still surprisingly high because this M1 Mac have aged instantly well. And honestly, I think Apple accidentally made a laptop that's too feature proof. If you are looking at a used model in 2025, this one still delivers pro level performance without making you break the bank. I have carried this Mac everywhere, no scratches on the screen, no worn out ports or no weird hardware issues. It's reliable, quiet and still 
Plus Premium every single day I use it. So 4 years later this MacBook still feels brand new and that really says something. I've built so much on this machine and it's still part of everything I do. If you got a, a M1 MacBook Pro, drop your experience in the comments. I would love to hear how it's holding up for you. Thank you for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one.